What happens if pilots lose GPS mid-flight? Imagine this. You're cruising at 37,000 feet watching a movie when the captain's voice comes over the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing a minor technical issue and may be making some turns. What they aren't telling you is that in the cockpit, a critical screen has just frozen or flashed GPS invalid. The digital map that was once a beacon of their precise location over the ocean has just gone dark. This isn't a scene from a thriller. It's a real life scenario pilots train for constantly. The sudden loss of GPS is a serious event, but it doesn't mean the pilots are suddenly lost. It means the game has just changed and their training kicks into high gear. So what do they actually do? First, there's no panic. The pilots immediately cross-reference their other systems. They have inertial navigation systems, INS, sophisticated gyroscopes and accelerometers that track the plane's movement from its last known position. It's like having a super advanced internal sense of where they are. They'll also use traditional radio navigation, tuning into ground-based beacons that dot the landscape. It's the aviation equivalent of switching from a smartphone's live map to a paper map and a compass. They'll communicate with air traffic control, who can use primary radar to paint the plane's position and provide vectors. In a world of digital magic, pilots are still masters of analog reality. But what about over the middle of the ocean, where there are no ground stations? This is where the art of airmanship truly shines. Pilots rely heavily on their INS and celestial navigation principles aren't used anymore, but they perform something called dead reckoning. By knowing their speed, heading, and time, they can accurately calculate their position. They also use high-frequency radios to communicate with oceanic controllers and other aircraft to verify their location. The entire system is built with layers of redundancy. Losing one system, even one as vital as GPS, is a challenge, not a catastrophe. The plane is never truly lost, it's just using a different, time-tested path home. So, to drive our message home, a loss of GPS in flight is a calculated problem with a train solution. Pilots don't just rely on a single satellite signal. They have a multi-layered safety net of inertial systems, ground-based radio navigation, and direct radar support from air traffic control. The next time you hear about a technical issue in flight, you can rest assured that the crew in the cockpit is seamlessly switching to one of their many backup plans, proving that even when the digital world fails, the foundational skills of aviation will always bring you safely to your destination.